Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how to root the Moto E. Okay, first we're going to install the drivers for Motorola. So click on that link there and then download this for your operating system, save it, and then open it. Hit continue and then go through the process to install the drivers. And once you install those drivers, you're gonna to go to our tutorial on how to set up ADB. Uh, do this, it's not too hard, I promise, um, to set up ADB for uh, S the SDK and ADB, uh, so we can use that for the next step. Then we're gonna turn off the phone. Once it's off, we're gonna turn it back on by holding down volume down and power at the same time until you see fast boot mode, which looks like this. Then we're going to plug the device in via USB to the computer. Yeah, on the computer, we're going to go to C, Android SDK, and then platform tools. Now, if you followed my um, tutorial on doing ADB, this is where this will be. Um, if not, you need to find the platform tools folder inside your Android SDK, wherever that may be. It's gonna be the same folder that has ADB and fast boot in it. So then we're going to hold shift on our keyboard and right click in any blank space in that folder and open command window here. In that new command window, we're going to type fast boot, OEM, hit, underscore unlock. And you'll get back this long string with bootloader in front of it. We need to right click and hit mark. And we're gonna copy all of that and then hit control C to copy. And you're gonna open up notepad and control V to paste it. Then we're gonna actually also make sure this is all on one line. It should look like that when you're done. Then we're gonna click on this link here to be taken to Motorola's unlock their bootloader kind of site. It might ask you to log in if it does. Uh, and keep in mind whatever email you use to log in with, because that's where something is going to get sent that we need later. So we can skip through all this because we already did it. And then we're going to take that uh, long string from in here. I'm going to hit Control A to highlight all, Control C to copy. I'm going to put it in here, Control V to paste. And my device being unlocked. And then you should see Request Unlock Key under here. So I'm going to hit Agree, Request Unlock Key. This will void your warranty. Yep. Please do. Okay. And then now we wait for our unlock key. Eventually you will get an email with a code that looks like this. We're going to highlight the code, control C to copy, and then we're going to go to our notepad and control V to paste it in there. Uh, you can't control V into here, so I'm just going to leave it like that, and then you can read it. So. In the command prompt then, we're gonna type fastboot OEM unlock space, and then type in that code. Then you wanna double check it, and then hit enter. And it should say unlock complete, and it'll reboot the device. Eventually the device will reboot and have wiped itself, so go through the setup process like normal. Okay, so you need to download the Super SU Flash Bowl zip, so click on that. Download the infected file, it's not really infected. Um, and save that to your desktop. With the phone plugged in and in regular you know, Android mode, uh, we're going to open it. It's internal storage, and we're gonna drag the supersu.zip, do not unzip it, zip, to the root of the storage like so. And then we're going to unplug the device and turn it off. And then we're gonna hold down volume down and power again at the same time until it boots into fast boot mode again. We're going to then plug it in again by USB. And we're gonna download the CWM recovery by clicking on this link here. And we're gonna save that inside our SDK platform tools. And save. And in the command prompt that should still be open, we're going to type that's boot, flash, 
Every grid up. Then we're going to select, uh, we're going to push volume down to select recovery and then volume up to actually choose it. Okay, then when you see Clockwork Mod Recovery like this, you're going to push uh, volume down to go to Install Zip, push Power to select it, then Power to choose Zip from SD, zero, and then scroll down to SuperSU.zip and Power to select that, volume down, select yes wait for that to flash. When it does, we can hit go back. Then we're going to select advanced and reboot to bootloader. Uh, and then if it says root doesn't work, should we fix it? Say no. Then back in our handy command prompt, we're actually going to just hit up on the keyboard or you can retype that in, but it'll be fast boot flash recovery recovery.img. Same thing we had before, but because we're now rooted, it should stick. Enter. And then on the device, we can push volume up to select normal power up and unplug the device. And then when the device boots up, open your app drawer and you should see Super SU in the app drawer. And I confirm that root is working. We're going to tap the Play Store up there and search for root checker. Tap on that. Tap install. Tap accept. Tap open. Agree. Okay, tap verify root. Hit grant. And it'll say you now have root access. Next, we're on the Play Store again and search for Quick Boot. Tap install, tap accept. And we're going to use this app to make sure that we have our custom recovery still. So hit open, tap recovery, tap grant wait for it to reboot and you should see CWM recovery still there. If so, you now have a root access and a custom recovery.